Welcome to our Q&A. <laughs> Should be the intro of every single YouTube video we do from now. Sit down, relax, and let's get started. Man that wants you to go to Jannah. <laughs> what are the three qualities that you love in Ahmed the most? I love that he is kind, oh. selfless, oh. and determined. Oh, very good. What are three qualities that you like about Louisa? Good cook. Okay. Kind. Okay. Selfless. You see his voice head. <laughs> oh my God, guys, are you seeing this? Are you tearing up? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yes, no. no, I'm not. It's okay. You actually are tearing up. No, my eyes itch. What was the question again? How tall are you and Ahmed? I am six foot and Ahmed's five. Yeah, I'm five foot two. Who's this? Six foot. <laughs> well, actually, I'm five three and Ahmed's um, six three. First meet up after being married with your in-laws. Nervous? I remember my first uh, time going to yours after uh, we went and we got Indian. Remember? And then we went to yours with it. Do you remember? I remember. And you brought Yasmina. And I brought Because you're nervous. Oh my god, she was hanging around with us for the first few times when yeah. we got married. You used to always bring her around. Yeah, when was the first time you came to one? I don't remember. I came to your gaff a few times because I came to ask you for your hand. I even went to yours when you weren't there and I bought your flowers. <laughs> That's because... <laughs> You forgot to bring them. What was it like getting married during lockdown? Our lockdown nikah. Mm -hmm. What was it like getting married during it's lockdown? It's actually a bit mad, yeah, because what happened was there was restrictions on everything. There was no way for you to be able to have a little party, nothing. Yeah, this is yeah. this this is when lockdown was Honest. first introduced. Yeah. So no, no one really understood. So everyone was trying to like still live their life, but then at the same time hide. <laughs> yeah it was mad though because we had a plan meant we were meant to get married on like the 20th or the 21st yeah. i don't know which weekend it was on the weekend of like the 20th or something we were meant to get married on that because we were saying like oh for my brother to be able to come over and stuff when there was a lockdown and my yeah. dad was just like mate let's get married bro get there's, out of the there's way there was literally no flights or anything over anyway so we're like okay we can't even wait around and be like oh when is he able to come over or anything they ring and they're like what do you say about the fourth the fourth the fourth everyone's like the fourth okay the fourth i was like wow <laughs> That's it, she in the next few days. It was mad. Okay, it's going to be the fourth. What did you feel like when you're like, okay, whoa, it's about to happen in like a few days? I, di I didn't feel any. I was just like, yeah, whatever. You was I like, was yeah. just like, yeah. Chilled, relaxed. Yeah. I was like, whoa, that means I have to get everything. To be honest, maybe, I was no, maybe we should do it for the 20th because the fourth is mad close. It didn't really make sense to me. I had already got an abaya and stuff that I was going to wear. Oh my God, I'm about to wear it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm going to have to make food. I'm going to have to make cakes. I'm going to have to do this i'm gonna have to do that and i was like oh my god how am i gonna bear all this i was literally like cooking on the day of my nikah still i stayed up till mad hours in the morning my eyes were literally like puff I had to cook everything i was preparing everything you know and then the night before i stayed up really late like i didn't sleep till four o'clock in the morning or something and i was like well my eye bags are going to be a madness in the morning and i'm about to get married <laughs> <laughs> this guy's just chilling at home like this. Relaxed, no, no, no. Back. I remember, I remember what I'd done the night before. So the night before, is my auntie came over, and then we were preparing all the gifts. Yeah, but you were just sitting watching them wrap them. Don't even chat. No, I was actually. I'm not much of a gamer, but I was playing my. <laughs> 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 I was playing Modern Warfare to get me like I was there helping blah 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 I was cooking and then woke up the next morning I was still like preparing stuff because like to be honest the place needed to be cleaned because they were going to be coming to earth if I was more prepared if it wasn't like so quick I could have had them prepared like a week in advance or two weeks in advance or something like you know just everything like set up but it was like just like that four days later I'm about to get married I need to know what I'm cooking I need to know what I'm making and then you need to remember like I had a full-time job as well it's just hectic what about you was actually bro for us man my mum just took the lead my mum my sister and they were just sorting everything out i just chin chin chilled it yeah look see all i had to do is just 
pay for like a few of the gifts buy a bit a few things here and there obviously my mum bought a few gifts from herself and uh, the next day uh, my mum obviously got everyone ready blah 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 this and that but there was a situation with me so the next day comes and I was late for some reason but I can't recall why I was late you know the funny thing is yeah we were told by the imam that we were only allowed to have three guests no two two so I was like okay I can bring my mom and dad and then I brought my sister as well and then I had two my two other sisters at home like and they wanted to come and then Ahmed obviously his family just brought everybody yeah we brought like 10 <laughs> literally people. we didn't even get to bring my little sisters yeah we pulled up with 10 people I was late I can't remember I think it was one of the one of my brothers was still showering or some shit like that so I pulled up to the mosque just so in. funny yeah I, we were sitting in the car waiting on this guy his dad was already there his auntie was already there um, me and my Yazi my mom and dad all sitting in the car waiting we literally wait for about an hour for this guy to like pull up it's meant to be the woman that's late like the woman's meant to be no, late bro i was late because i was the driver do you understand as in like i was on duties mm. <laughs> mm. yeah and continue don't know man like <laughs> pull yourself together wrong camera <laughs> So yeah, I come in late, I storm in, sit down with the sheikh, the sheikh is like, listen, where's the spouse? You're not getting married with no spouse. The spouse needs to be present for you to sign the contract. And I was like, where is she? And then he's like, and my dad was like, she's in the back, we put her in the back. And then it came to the time of negotiation for the mah. So this is a funny thing because we actually got that all on video. Obviously my dad comes in, you know what I mean? Louisa comes in, her dad comes in, the sheikh is in there and I'm there. And the sheikh is like, yeah, listen, how much is the mah? And Louisa's like, listen, I just want a gifted ring. And the sheikh was like, listen, you need to put down something as a ma. My dad's like, yeah, 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 listen, yeah, yeah, you need to take ma. You need to take ma. Uh, yeah, 5,000 euro. Do you hear me? He's like, 5,000 euro. And he's just like, no, no, I just want gift ring, gift ring, gift ring. That's it. This is all on video. Ismail's video. My, <laughs> my dad negotiated it to 1,000 euro. They wrote it down on the contract. The next move was we went into this hall. I sat, the sheikh sat somewhere. Actually, yeah, it was like, I was on this side. My dad was like on that side. We were like, gap, then the sheikh and then it was like you or something, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What ends up happening is the sheikh starts speaking and my father-in-law goes like this to me because you're meant to shake. Yeah, they usually like, you know the yeah, way like yeah. they usually shake. I pretty much ignored my father-in-law. It's all on video. He went like this and I pretty much... He went to go like this. You never shook his hand. Yeah, I never shook his hand. So his hand was out there and then he put it down. But I didn't know. I didn't know no better. My dad had to say things and then you had to say things as well. And the sheikh was telling us what to say. Like my, my poor dad, like he, he got nervous. Yeah, he stopped. Yeah, we ended up signing the contract then. We got pictures. Ahmed's mom brought some cakes and we all had some of them. Do you know what's actually funny? You forgot to say this, but yeah. You know when we were only coming in and we were sneaking in, yeah? The couple that got married before us, they were coming out and there was like a, the girl and the boy and he's walking out and his dad's like, one of you need to go this way, the other needs to go that way because he was telling each one of them how to sneak out. Two of them look at him and was like, we just got married. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to separate us already. He went home, uh, I went home, still had to prepare still stuff and all, you know. I was so nervous and i don't even know why because you know it's actually crazy like there wasn't re not many in my house at all you your yeah. mom and your auntie yeah. and then it was me my si three sisters my mom and my two aunties and that was it that was literally it and your grandmother no she didn't come she, she was there came to ask for my yeah. hand so what ends up happening with me is i went home i think i went to sleep and then i played a bit of modern warfare oh we went and picked up a, a, a cake this fat cake and then we're going to get the checkpoints <laughs> and then my auntie was like hiding the cake under hijab the reason was ready yet because i was then, still getting things ready um before he came and obviously i wanted to get some pictures upstairs as well <laughs> i gave uh, louise a 1500 euro mark she took 50 euro and gave me 1450 back I, I still actually have that 50 euro i didn't <laughs> want it yeah so. but she got a fat ring in it we cut the cake and that was that we cut the cake and we chilled we relaxed and that was that and after that we actually didn't move out straight away either we Oh yeah, it took us ages to move out because we were just looking for apartments like, and it was locked down. It was it hard was to chaotic. exactly it was really hard to find like an apartment after. You know it's so funny, yeah. We went to view this apartment and it's like, yeah, yeah, let's take it, let's take it, let's take it. Because I was in a bro, I like, just wanted to take it. This get a guy crib, really bro. wanted to take it. You know how small this apartment was? Like I'm not bro, even joking. I, it was okay. The, it was modern. Man, this oh, guy it's weird, yeah. You this can see guy, the pipes and shit. This guy couldn't stand, first of all, in the apartment, like straight, because the walls were down. In general, like every single room. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the Ahmed, do you not remember how small the kitchen sitting room was? We were like, imagine we bring our families over. We're all going to be literally there. Yeah, we on can't. Top of each other, you can't. Literally, it was so small, and he just wanted to take it. And I was like, yeah, we're not going to fit in this place at all. So, yeah, we went and we compromised and got a penthouse instead. <laughs> 
I, I feel like it was the best on the market for its price compared to like everything every, everywhere else it's really expensive to rent in ireland to be honest next question would you go to algeria with your libyan husband yeah yeah we would we actually want to go to Algeria and like actually do touristic things because anytime I do I, like a little series like anytime I go to Algeria obviously it's like go to see family I don't actually see all the touristic things that you can see in Algeria all the like scene, scenery and stuff so yeah I'd love to go do that is Eid better in a Muslim country? Eid's better with your family wherever the people you love are that's where Eid's where best. Eid's best the aspect I enjoy about Eid is giving like the past I think it was it three Eids three Eids we went all out on gifts we're not rich or nothing but you know what Eid's come or twice a year and you don't want your siblings to feel like you don't <laughs> it's not the mic you don't want your siblings to feel like oh yeah I didn't get this or I didn't get this even or. like making a, a special for them you know like we were like oh let's start making Aid a really special thing you know I really liked Aid in, in Ireland do you think you're closer now to Ahmed in the first days of marriage and was it awkward at first obviously we're much closer now because um, we know each other properly now you know yeah, we live each other we now. live each other we're with each other all the time you learn a lot of things about each other i think it's like a constant le um, you're constantly learning though yeah. aren't you like yeah. it's like, not like it it's not like j just a thing like that it takes time how to be confident in wearing the abaya you just have to put it on and just go with what like go with it and not care what anybody else thinks you know that's really it that's the biggest advice i can give choosing something that you feel comfortable in like abaya that you like the best thing to make you confident in something is when you spend money in it if there's a abaya that you really like buy it if runners make you more confident in abayas buy nicer runners you can't just go buy any crappy abaya and expect it to be like amazing you know because the material makes a difference color makes a difference i hope you guys enjoyed the video smash the like button blah 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 don't say blah 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 like share subscribe and you already know what's gonna happen if you don't i'll get angry and you don't want to get me angry do you thank you very so much for following us this far we love you so much. See you on the next one.